Hello and welcome. I'm Pranav Prakha. Let's take a look at newspaper headlines published from Delhi today. First, the Hindustan Times. Two missing Nizamuddin clerics picked up by Pakistan intelligence agencies. This is such a nasty blow to the Indian religious leaders. Pakistan is blind on Hafiz Said and their intelligence agency picks Sufi clerics, which is just not acceptable. Indian Foreign Minister Susma Suraj has taken up the issue with Pakistan authority. Trivendra Rawat is CM of Uttarakhand. Court orders CBI to probe Narada Sting. Set back to Mamta Banerjee. Bengal CM points finger at BJP. Trinamool Congress set to challenge High Court Directive in top court. So now Mamta Banerjee is challenging court as well. She can't find problem within her own government and the accused in financial scam she finds problem with bjp and the court the narada news sting operation aired on march 14 2016 a fortnight before west bengal assembly poll showed a dozen of trinamool leaders purportedly accepting cash from the representative of fictitious company the accused the lok sabha mps sugato roy suvendu adhikari sultan ahmed arupa poddar kakoli ghosh dastidar prosun banerji so there you have it mamta banerji now challenging court as well moving ahead to the hindu newspaper triveni rawat chosen as uttarakhand cm pm modi amit shah to attend swearing in of former rss pracharak today so heavyweight presence in the swearing in ceremony of trivendra rawat in uttarakhand and the much awaited upcm uh, nomination is expected today hopefully because today is legislature party meeting bjp leaders meeting in lucknow and then the name will be decided hopefully today we also get the another news of uttar pradesh justice karnan rejects warrant issued by supreme court seek 14 crore in damage from bench for stopping his work calcutta high court judge cs karnan has refused to accept the bailable warrant issued against him by supreme court in a so moto contempt of court order on friday west bengal director general of police sujit kar purkhaist along with several high ranking officials went to justice karnan's house in the new town area on the eastern fringe of the city to hand over the warrant I rejected the same after assigning valid reason this kind of demeaning act from your lordship and further perpetuating the atrocities act supreme court scheduled caste and scheduled tribe prevention of atrocities act 1989 is absolutely out of law to the utter embarrassment of dalit judge justice karnan stated in a letter to seven judge bench of supreme court so there you have it the calcutta high court judge being issued a supreme court warrant and then their fiasco ensues strong opposition needed pranav courts nehru says millions shouldn't say yes to one man but then in the same place president also strongly supported the leadership of prime minister narendra modi but then hindu newspaper did not print that ugc stop funds to jnu center move takes academic across universities by surprise plastic rupees 10 notes in five cities soon so after demonetization the new plastic 10 rupee notes will be coming soon in circulation the indian express lead story is government asks psu's bank to do forensic audit of defaulters npa crackdown in full swing now trivendra yadav to be uttarakhand cm says removing Poverty is top priority high court order cbi probe into narada case west bengal police puppets my complaint against Rahul is he is not acting decisively. This is a clarification given by once hot, once cold Digvijay Singh. With the Congress searching for answers after the humiliating defeat in Uttar Pradesh and Uttarakhand, senior leader Digvijay Singh has called for a new Congress with a new character, a new roadmap, a new style of campaigning. And he says it's time Congress Vice President acted decisively. 246 kg seized in seven months. Myanmar new top route for gold smugglers. High court judge reject apex court's warrant in contempt case. NIA to charge sheet 8 from Kerala, Tamil Nadu for IS terror plot. Moving ahead to the Times of India. Suspense over UPCM lingers ahead of announcement today. In other stories, AIMS emergency shut for first time as nurse take leave. 
No admission till 5 p.m. All surgery is postponed. India's investment put on hold by General Motors. General Motors had put investment plan in India on hold as the U.S. auto major struggles to make a business case due to declining sale. Dhuni, Karthik and state mates evacuated from Dwarka Hotel Fire. Former Indian captain M.S. Dhuni, wicketkeeper batsman Dinesh Karthik and players from Jharkhand and Tamil Nadu had a scare when the Dwarka Hotel where the team were staying caught fire on Friday morning. So that's all we have in the headlines of the English newspapers published from Delhi. We'll be back tomorrow with more news. It's goodbye from Pranav Prakha.